Lauren Whitney with RichgoNetwork.tv, and we are here at Universal City Walk for the screening of Tape 407, a Susan De Laurentiis production. Now, Everett, can you tell me about how you got involved with this project? Well, it's actually something that we had come in with Suzanne De Laurentiis. We were doing uh, another project called Blue, and we were pitching that idea, and we shot some elements of it, and she said, well, wait a minute, I got something else for you, and I want you guys to take a look at it. And so we both did, and uh, we were pretty excited about it. It was, uh, it was a neat concept and uh, pretty challenging. We only had like about five days to shoot the thing. And so we, were, we looked at Dale and uh, I said, do you think we can do this? And he said, I don't know, can we? And I said, let's give it a shot. And so we pulled it off. You made this film in five days. Not kidding. Yeah, we had, uh, I mean, it was, it, the whole idea was limited resources, five days to shoot it. I brought in some actors that I knew. Suzanne already had some people that she was ready to go with. And then uh, we just took off and saw if we could do it. And we did. So uh, we're pleased with it. Do you have any other projects coming up that we can look forward to seeing? We do. Right now we're working out a, a pilot and a TV show that we're in development with, with a network called Blue, which is a psychological thriller dealing with two sisters in the intelligence community and uh, a chase is on. So uh, we're looking forward to that as well. I'm excited about that as well. Well, thank you so much My and pleasure. I look forward to watching the film. Thanks a lot. Great. Thank you. Okay. I'm here with the writer of Tape 407. Hey there. Can you tell me a little bit about your idea for making this film? Um, basically a dinosaur movie that sort of comes out of nowhere, you know, found footage dinosaur movie. What, what else is there to say? I mean, it hasn't been done yet and we're, we're the first to do it and it's going to be amazing. All right, yeah. well, Robert, thank you so much and we look forward to seeing your work. Thank you. Great. I have the beautiful, beautiful Abigail Schrader, who, if you can't tell in the poster behind me, that's her face, okay? She is the lead, right? Yes. And tape 407. Now, Abigail, can you tell me about how you got involved with this project and kind of something exciting that happened on set? Well, it was all improv, so they basically, um, we just had to improv it all for the audition. And yeah, it was just a crazy roller coaster, but it was really fun. Now, do you have any other projects that are here on the horizon that we can look forward to watching you in? I have one coming up in January, but I'm not allowed to say a lot. Uh, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, Abigail, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing your amazing performance <laughs> and seeing you do some really amazing things out here. Thank you. You're very welcome. I have Samantha Lester, who is actually in the film Tape 407. Now, Samantha, can you tell me about your experience working on the film and how you got involved? I got involved through Suzanne De Laurentiis. I'm um, one of her mentors okay. in her mentorship program. I was lucky enough to just be able to get into it because of her. The script was very loose, um, lots of improv. It was insane. But we all had so much fun running away and like screaming and right. you know developing characters as we're going because the story kept changing and it was it was quite an interesting experience. Ken, how did you get involved with this film? Um, actually, it just kind of fell in my lap through contacts and found out about it. Did my read and. Basically, I did a good job, I guess, as I got cast. I got, a, I got other stuff going on. I've done a lot of TV. Um, Film-wise, I've uh, got another film coming out. I think it's this coming year called The Grief Tourist. I just got a, another film that was released on TV called Wasteland. What is your role that you play in this film? Um, I play Tom, who is just one of the passengers, of course, and me and my wife are going on a trip to Vegas, and then, you know, panic ensues, and all the crazy stuff that I'm not going to give away, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a fun, fun, scary film. Brendan, I would you tell me a little bit about the film, how you got involved, the part that you play as well? Yeah. well I play Charlie. Okay. Um, he's one of the passengers that gets wrecked in the desert. Mm -hmm. Really scary stuff. Like it was, it was scary, but it was also fun. You know, it was a lot of fun, and it's a rare treat for an actor to be able to um, improvise a whole, a whole script. Well, that is amazing, yeah. and I'm so excited for you. I think you. you're amazing too. Oh, <laughs> do you see the love? Brandon and I have love. love well, Brandon, I look forward to seeing you do some amazing things. And do you have any projects on the horizon we can look up, uh, look forward to? A couple TV shows coming up. I have a movie coming out on the Hallmark Network called The Christmas Pageant, which is obviously a Christmas movie. So it'll be good. It's with Melissa Gilbert. Okay, great. Well, we look forward to seeing that. Samantha, hello. There. How are you doing? Hi. Good morning. Great. Good. Great. Now, Samantha, tell me about how you got involved with the film and your role that you play. I, I'm friends with Dale and with Everett, and uh, we have been working on other projects together. And then uh, Suzanne was wonderful enough to uh, meet with us, and uh, with them, actually. And then they offered me to come on board, and I, of course, jumped at it, because working with them is always 
awesome and exciting and kind of fly by the seat of your pants and great. And so uh, we just got to it. And I had worked with a lot of people in the cast before with James. And I had seen Brendan's work before and I just think he's fabulous and Melanie. And so I just got on board and we went with it and we just didn't stop until it was done. And uh, even meeting the other Samantha was fabulous and Abby was just great. And so, I don't know, I just had a blast. It was great. Yeah. Hey, well, Samantha, thank you so much. Oh, I look you. forward to seeing more of your oh, work. Thank you. And I really look forward to seeing this film. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, me too. <laughs> thank you so much. Have thank a good you. You Bye. too. I'm actually not in this film. I'm here, just my sister Samantha's in it. So I'm here okay. to see it for her. I'm excited. She's here supporting. Yeah. Aren't you great? So have you done any work yourself? Um, yes, I have, actually. I've been working a lot recently. I just recorded for How Sweet It Is, so that was exciting. I used to be in a band, okay. but yeah, it was exciting. It's fun. Well, Danielle, thank you so much for being out here today supporting your sister, Samantha, and I'll see you in the screening, and I think it's <laughs> going to be a great time. Thank you so much. This is Lauren Whitney with richgirlnetwork.tv and we just finished seeing the screening of Tape 407 and it was a thriller ride. I'll tell you this, it had a completely unexpected ending and I really enjoyed it. So get ready to see an amazing film when it releases by a theater near you.